So last time we drew this beautiful fish with our seaweed swimming, our fish swimming through the seaweed. This time we are going to use line and pattern to create designs in our fish. So we're going to use lines in our fish. So we have this part is the face on our fish and we're going to leave that without any patterns in it because we want to make sure you can see the eyes and the mouth on our fish. But we made four more parts to our fish and in those four parts we're going to draw lines. So you can choose what kind of lines you want to make but whatever lines you make you're going to repeat over and over again inside that part of your fish. So I'm going to start with straight lines in mine and I'm going to draw straight lines and I'm going to go from the beginning of my part to the end of the part all the way across. And I'm going to draw another one because I'm making a pattern so I want it to repeat. So I have a straight line I'm going to keep drawing that straight line pattern all the way so that it repeats. Repeats all the way across my fish. All the way across my fish. So I filled this whole section with the same type of line repeating over and over again. I'm going to do the same thing in the next section, but this section I don't think I want to use straight lines. I think I want to use curvy lines. So I'm going to use kind of, they'll look kind of like a backwards C. So I'm going to go boom, 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 boom. Boom. See how it goes from the top all the way to the bottom? And then I'm going to keep going because my pattern repeats. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Same thing. And I'm going to do the same thing again because I still have more space. I didn't fill up in this section yet. So I'm going to keep going. Boom, 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 boom. So now I have one section filled with straight lines and one section filled with curvy bumpy lines. Now I can pick another type of line for this one but it's going to fill the whole space and it's going to repeat. So in this section I think I'm going to do zigzag lines. Zigzag. It starts on one side and ends on the other. And then I do the same thing again. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to keep doing the same line until I'm all the way done. Because it's going to make a pattern and patterns repeat over and over and over again. So I have zigzag lines that repeat all the way down my fish. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this next section. I'm going to choose what kind of line I want as long as it repeats over and over again. So for this one I think I'm going to use a curve line but a different kind than last time. It's going to curve up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. See how the curve lines fill that whole section all the way full? So now I have a different pattern in each section. The next thing we're going to be able to do is trace our designs with crayon and then we'll be able to use watercolor paint. <laughs> 